only have 22% of our old growth forests remaining worldwide. In the U.S. we actually only have 5%. We have destroyed most of our old growth forests in this country and we are destroying them around the world. We absolutely think the logging industry needs to change the way it operates. In this day and age, logging old growth forests for 2x4 in pulp is just like slaughtering elephants for their ivory or whales for their oil. These are simply barbaric practices that our society has moved beyond. These are the concerns that ignited Rainforest Action Network, or RAN, and other environmental organizations to launch a campaign to save the remaining old growth forests from extinction. The first logical step of the activists was to reach the biggest logging companies and distributors. Very soon they learned that if environmental friendly practices don't make money, companies just wouldn't do it. They knew they had to fight. They tracked down the logged wood around the world and found that the U.S. is the biggest consumer of old growth forest products and that Home Depot was the biggest distributor. Such a privileged position gave Home Depot the honor of becoming the first target of Rand's campaign. Through awareness-raising outreach efforts, the campaign used the power of the U.S. market as leverage to pressure the company to protect the forest. With the help of more than 100 U.S.-based environmental organizations, they staged massive demonstrations at Home Depot stores in 30 states during World Rainforest Week. so little sense for us to be destroying these forests for short-term profits so that we can have cheap disposable toilet paper, so that we can have cheap easy access to plywood, so that we can make our desks and our, our chairs when in fact um, you know there are second growth forests, there are sustainable harvesting methods for paper, there's recycled options. We have to learn to manage our resources more sustainably. In the next nonviolent protest action, five activists climbed a giant construction crane to hang a 2,000 square foot banner in view of the Home Depot World Headquarters in Atlanta. Nonviolent civil disobedience is an important moral tactic for challenging powers that are doing destructive practices. Here, Rand launches the Holiday Kids Campaign. Over 3,000 children from across the country sent letters to Home Depot CEO Arthur Blank asking for a Christmas gift of a healthy forest. Letters were delivered to the Home Depot headquarters by the Montessori School of Athens, Georgia, with an activist dressed as Santa Claus. The demonstrations continued, and in what became one of the largest nationwide forest demonstrations ever, activists protested at more than 150 Home Depot stores across the United States and Canada. Meanwhile, leaders of the Newhawk, an indigenous tribe from British Columbia, and campaigners from RAN, engaged in some ethical shoplifting, taking back wood that's for sale at Home Depot, but which was stolen from their tribal lands. Two years later, for their 20th anniversary, Home Depot announced their environmental wood purchasing policy. President and CEO Arthur M. Blank said, and I quote, Home Depot embraces its responsibility as a global leader to help protect endangered forests. By the end of 2002, we will eliminate from our stores wood from endangered areas. He continued, we are asking our vendors to help us by dramatically increasing the supply of certified forest products. Finally, they realized that it takes many centuries for a forest to reach the delicate balance required for all of its species to live in equilibrium with each other. Ongoing cycles of birth and death, 
growth, and decay. An old growth forest is a community with dominant trees at or near biological maturity, a very special and rare treasure. Old growth forests are valuable for many reasons. They keep soil from eroding away, help to keep water clean, hold on to important nutrients for plant growth, provide large natural areas which are required to maintain healthy animal populations, and they help to mitigate the problem of global warming by absorbing carbon dioxide. More than 400 companies, including Kinko's, Home Depot, Lowe's, and others, have agreed with RAND to phase out wood from old growth forests around the world. Boise Cascade, however, is an industry dinosaur. They refuse to change to these modern public values. They refuse to meet the new demands in the marketplace. And that was the next target of the campaign, the home building industry and wood suppliers. In an opportune moment, the initiative was launched at the convention of the National Association of Home Builders in Dallas. Within months of the campaign, 25% of the lumber market committed itself to provide old growth free lumber in new home constructions. At this time, RAND turns its attention to Boise Cascade with acres in Canada, Indonesia, Chile, and the Amazon. Boise Cascade is the world's biggest logging company. Meetings were held with Boise Cascade's CEO and senior staff, but RAND's plea for an end to old growth logging was rejected. The response was powerful. A full scale public campaign was launched and started with this, a 120 foot tall dinosaur hot air balloon named George after the CEO of Boise Cascade, George Herod, flying gently over Boise's headquarters. Boise tried to take away our funders, um, wrote to all of our funders that, that um, they knew of, asking them to stop funding us because we used the tactic of nonviolent civil disobedience. I worked uh, in 2000 on a campaign uh, for the Ridless Initiative, so Clinton was working um, through literally hundreds of meetings with the Forest Service and local communities to craft a policy to protect uh, endangered areas. You know, when we think that something's happening that is as big of a problem as logging old growth forests is, that it's a minor thing to stand in the way of a logging truck or stand in the way of a Boise paper distribution truck, that there's, you know, bigger problems afoot and, and that we need to draw attention to them. 